Hello and welcome to Search Query Steroids. So this is a version one of a new feature that we've just pushed out in Ad Evolver. And it's essentially engrams, but with trend data across uh, different segments of time. I'm just gonna run you through it very quickly. So here we have on the screen, we have our queries, the count of that query. So how many times it's appeared over the past year. And then the CPA or the ROAS, if your account is set to uh, ROAS, so uh, CPA or ROAS there, we can look at single phrase terms. So single, essentially one word engrams or two, three and four word engrams, so phrases. And this could be at the account level, campaign level, and we also have the ad group level. We also show this data in a table if you so wish. So currently in version one, we allow you to add negatives at the campaign level, and we will be adding negative keyword list level and at group level as well. So what's funky and useful about search query steroids is this very helpful sortable trend data. So here we can see over 12 months, six months, three, two, and one months, we can see the trend of the CPA for this account. So this account's target CPA is 25. And as we can see, these are amber because they are up to 10% over that target CPA. Anything in gray means it's below the CPA requirement. Where it starts to get interesting is where we can see the trend change over time. So we might say this query should be negative because it's considerably over our target CPA. And we, they, we might then see this query and this query, for example, that used to be over target CPA, but have come good. And of course, this can be the opposite. We can have queries that used to be under CPA, but have been trending towards being over CPA. And you can either negative them, or of course you can look at that campaign and ad group in particular and try and understand what's changed there. So you get a visual representation, which you, of course you can sort through. So if you'd rather see the 12 month CPA concern, for example here, whereas you might see in recent months, these have come good versus previous months. And likewise, this can go in reverse too, where we might see queries that previously were performing okay and have recently decayed for whatever reason and need you to have a look at them or negative them. So it's as simple as that. You take the queries that you want to add as negatives, scroll back to the top, and then we will add them as phrase negatives to those campaigns for you. And we'll expand out, as I said before, to ad group campaign and negative keyword list level. Hope you enjoy search query steroids and I look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching.